For the past several years, all we heard from Pretendos was that, like, oh, that was not a good Direct. We didn't get Metroid Prime 4. I only care about Metroid. Metroid is the only good Nintendo IP that they have. They uh, they pulled out all the stops to complain about Bayonetta 3 and No More Heroes 3. Like, they, they did every Direct. Metroid Prime 4's existence was a huge thing that pretendos used to weaponize against nintendo right like oh where's metroid prime 4 it's been delayed the only real game i care about is it coming out anytime soon right that was the uh the cope for the past several years and now in the june direct we saw it and immediately there's been a narrative shift. Immediately, people have been trying to say, like, whoa, that was it? Oh, I've been waiting this long for that trailer? Oh, that wasn't that impressive? Oh, like, uh, they're trying to do this thing where they're making it out to be that Metroid Prime 4's reveal was disappointing, right? That this isn't what they wanted, that Nintendo has dropped the ball. It looks like a GameCube game. Hey, genius, GameCube games were better than what we get today. You know, <laughs> like it looking like a GameCube game is not a bad thing at all. Quite the opposite. But but we are we are starting to see people like uh, now that Metroid Prime 4 is like real and it's on the horizon. Like you are seeing a lot of people come out and try to say that the game is going to be underwhelming. And I can tell you, having grown up with uh, Metro Primes 2 and 3, just how many of these people did the same thing with those games. Like, oh man, I love Metroid, I love Metroid, oh, but those games were disappointing. Those games were bad. Oh, I was so underwhelmed by Metroid Prime 3 when really those games were fantastic. And it's it's one of those things where you're just like, wait a minute, if you're an actual Metroid fan, if you like Metroid games, and like, shouldn't you be excited about new metroid releases right shouldn't you be excited about what nintendo is doing but no like every time we see a new metroid game we get this all this like ifs ands and buts about it right you know metroid prime federation force you know we got a new metroid game like you know after a six-year hiatus like no that's not what we wanted like we get samus returns oh no we we have a better metroid 2 remake like uh, we get dread. Like, oh no, uh, uh, we we waited too long for this. It looks bad. It's made by Westerners. Uh, like again, I, I've said this before, but it really does feel like the only Metroid games you're allowed to like are Super and maybe the original Prime. Maybe everything else is garbage, according to like the wider fan base. This has been a phenomenon I've uh, I've uh, took notice of for years, but. I do think it's uh, it needs to be addressed that, like, uh, this doesn't seem to be a reflection of how people feel about these games, right? Uh, you know, because basically every Metroid game other than, like, Other M has been, like, really well-received and popular, right? People like these games, and, and seeing so many people, like, try and do this thing where they're just, like... Uh, like pretending to be disappointed in your constantly. It's just like typical Pretendo nonsense, right? Where they have to go after every single Nintendo game. But with Metroid, uh Metroid's a little bit different because of its aesthetics, because of its style uh because of its style, because of like who it appeals to. Like Metroid is a very real threat to the AAA gaming industry because Metroid is a higher quality, mature video game franchise than basically everything else that exists, right? You know, it's better than Star Wars. It's better than a Mass Effect, uh, Halo, right? You know, that's been true since the beginning, but uh, ever, but uh, gaming journalists up to game, gaming journalists up to this point have pretty successfully downplayed the game because they are too niche, right? They they do take real skill to get through, right? Most people don't take the time to play through Samus's games because they aren't hardcore gamers, and as a result, it's created this weird situation where like Metroid is now like uh, what like a C-list Nintendo franchise. It doesn't sell very well, in spite of being so critically successful, and. Uh, Again, like, it really does feel as if, like, people are way more obsessed with, like, uh, other lesser video game franchises, like Dead Space. And, and it really shouldn't have been that way, right? But we, we've been dealing with this for a long time, where, like, uh, people aggressively go after Metroid and, and establish these narratives. And I'm curious if, much like Luigi's Mansion 2 and 3, 
if Prime 4 could have the capacity to break through this nonsense and make Metroid a proper B-list Nintendo franchise, right? Like, I think maybe if Nintendo plays their cards right, they could get, like, three, um, you know, a 5 million units sold, establish Metroid as, like, a, the best first-person adventure franchise uh, on the planet, right? You know, establish Metroid Prime as a real competitor in the space and just continue to blow pla blow past all these copycats and like imitators and these lesser franchises, you know, dealing with the 40 Ks of the world, right? Like why exactly has it taken so long for this to happen? Uh, uh, people understand like uh, the pretendos understand what a big threat Metroid is because the instant this happens, the instant Metroid becomes a B-list Nintendo franchise and we can expect like, new releases every three or four years we are going to see we are going to see like uh more and more like mature gamers coming back to nintendo platforms right like this is going to be a big major gateway franchise for the that essential demographic for xbox playstation and pc and because you can't emulate metroid games right uh they're going to have to pick up nintendo consoles to do it and again, it's going to be this major, major thing where uh, the mature game, uh, the mature gamers are uh, going to come back to Nintendo consoles. It's suddenly going to start being cool again. You know, like right now, it feels like the only uh, the only demographic that doesn't play on Nintendo consoles are like the 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 people who play mature games for mature gamers, right? You know. Uh, people like Angry Joe, like the Angry Joe demographic, like, oh, I only care about sports and uh, and sci-fi. Well, we have better sports games in the Mario sports franchises, and we have uh, Metroid. So again, like, how exactly are these people are going to justify not supporting Metroid Prime 4, which is going to be the best, like, sci-fi first-person adventure game of 2025, right? Like, how exactly are they going to do that? Like, these people couldn't even get away with downplaying Zelda. Like, are they really going to downplay Metroid as well, right? Again, like, this is becoming a real issue for them, where, like, Nintendo is so, like, dominant in all their respective spheres that it's becoming very, very difficult to avoid them, right? You know, they Animal Crossing is huge, Mario Kart is, Mario Kart is huge, uh, Fire Emblem is huge, and uh, I do think Metroid has uh, grown a lot over the past couple of years. You know, this, this, this last... Uh, wave of metroid games kicked off by the excellent 2016's uh metroid prime federation force right this new wave of metroid games has kind of demonstrated that like um this franchise this property is viable and people like angry joe will not be able to damage control it going forward and that has them scared you know like if if they seriously have to pick up a nintendo switch to cover, like, the biggest gaming release in the genre, you know, if it ever becomes exposed that these people don't know how to play video games, like, their careers are essentially over, right? It's uh, it's going to be really interesting seeing the damage control and, like, the downplaying of Metroid Prime 4. It, you know, I do think this is going to be, like, the big downplayed Nintendo game of 2025. It's going to be, like, uh, this year's, uh, that year's equivalent of, like, Tears of the Kingdom and, to a lesser extent, Mario Wonder, right? Like, they're going to pull out all the stops. They're going to do everything they possibly can. They're going to make things up. They're going to lie. They're going to they're gonna downplay the game. Like, it needs to be understood that these, these individuals are some of the most corrupt, evil, like, uh, mind-broken people in existence. Like, no matter what Nintendo does, they are going to come out and criticize them for it. 